So once again, for everyone who has joined again, so I welcome Himanshu Sekhar Panda, the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Skyskill Academy. And I welcome sir to enlighten the students, the young students who have joined, who have just started on their path or just graduated from their colleges to enlighten them. So today's session will be very special because uh, our, our founder will be talking about from his heart out. So, sir, just first questions for you. Uh, welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, uh, Tanmay. Thank you, everyone, again. Uh, the people who joined uh, a bit uh, late. So, I welcome everyone uh, on behalf of Skyscale Academy for making some time for the session. I, I hope you all are doing great. Yeah. So, the first, first question which I have also from my, uh, my collection is that how the Skyskill Academy, this venture came into your mind, came into the idea? Okay. So uh, back in uh, in my college days when uh, I used to be student like uh, our participant. Uh, so that time, in, I'm talking about 2010, 2011. Uh, skill was not a uh, upgrading skill or skill academy was not a full form of fully grown uh, business or maybe, uh, you know, there are very few academy who used to provide skills, real hand skills, actually. There were very small organizations who used to provide very locally. And the knowledge was not, uh, you know, uh, what is that called? It was not at par of the industry. So that time when we started to do something and we faced a lot of drawbacks, setbacks, um, then we thought, why not to start something uh, where people can get benefited? For an example, you know, uh, I remember a story in 2011 when we visited uh, some IIT for a national level competition. There we found that our knowledge is really, it's all uh, at zero level. I would say, you know, we, when we started comparing the other other students from different colleges or maybe from IITs, you know, uh, then we thought of, okay, let's learn something and do something. And next time probably we'll win a award at uh, IIT. Uh, there actually this journey started in the, started of, you know, I started searching for a good institute and we failed to get that. Then we thought, why not to plan it? Um, let's let's start it from, you know, I, I'm from Odisha. Then let's start it from Odisha and let's start something uh, building here in Odisha. Ecosystem in Odisha should be enhanced. Then from my third year, uh, we started this, uh, you know, uh, this academy, I would say. Uh, the idea was there, uh, but gradually it formed a shape and uh, finally we are here. Uh, so it started from the college days. Uh, so now looking, uh, looking from the past till now, now you look at you, you have uh, made the IIT accessible for everyone and not only one, but two to IIT is accessible for every domain, every student. So that's something to be look out for. And so the next question I think I have from the podium, it's from uh, Mo Mohan and he wants to know about what are the pathways in the CAD CAM CA which Skyscale Academy is providing? Well, uh, so before I get into what Skyscale Academy is providing, let me tell you what exactly the industry going, uh, you know, the industry uh, trends in CAD CAM and CA. You know, uh, there are times, you know, if you know, recent time, very recent times, colleges are facing real difficulties in placing the student into mechanical students or the core sector students into any company. You know, if you see the placement record of any college, you will see maximum student getting placed into IT sectors and hardly few students getting job in uh, core sectors. So that has started a new trend that mechanical sector has lost its charm. Uh, there is no jobs in mechanical engineering. Something, you know, everyone is talking about it. But what I, you know, there is a contradictory thing that I see in the industry. It's about the, there are jobs right now. I mean, uh, there are jobs, but colleges are not able to upgrade students into the EDPAR industry standard. And when it comes to mechanical engineering or the core sector engineering, you need to have the basic fundamental knowledge into this. You cannot be completely blank and get a job into these sectors and start working there. Unlike, you know, a lot of IT companies, they take you for six, seven months of training and probably... Uh, you know, if you have good communication skills, if you have good, uh, at least understanding of concepts, then probably you'll get a job. But in mechanical, you need to have the pre-skill. I would say it's not skill, pre-skills you should have. And their company started, uh, you know, disliking this graduate student. And the trend started uh, that, okay, we'll not hire uh, the graduate because they are unskilled. But in the colleges that, uh, you know, because of admission and stuff, this everyone started saying mechanical, you know, sectors don't have a job or this CAD, CAM, CA sector don't have a job. 
but i would say after covid you know after pandemic we've we've seen the shift in the industry standard the the quality of people the companies are hiring that has increased that is tremendously that is increased and uh, people are looking for students who have knowledge in their hand is at least 10 20% knowledge rest of them probably you know the company is going to hire the company is going to provide the training uh, during the you know ojt or maybe during the gt tenure they will provide that training so i see there is no shortage of job in this sector there is huge plenty amount of jobs are there but we don't have people who are skilled enough to get the job into these sectors so i am very clear on this sector this is a evergreen sector this will remain evergreen uh, but the amount of student who are skilled in this sector that is dropping every day basis so probably this is high time for people to upskill themselves into uh, this cad chem and cae probably there are plenty of jobs and let me tell you one more thing tanmay you know back in college when we used to sit for placement drive the packages was hardly 2.2 2.3 you know 3 lakhs at max now companies are hiring recently one student of uh, you know she was in intern with sky skill i don't know whether you know or not i was getting a report from the internship team uh, she 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 was a final student she did some internship with us she got placed in maruti suzuki with a package of 12.2 lakhs in hand as a fresher you know that is the standard now but people are hiring with a very high package at par the it packages now it company packages so uh, my point is my take is there is jobs all you need to do is upskill yourself and probably you will also fit into this good package or maybe the industry standard aptly said sir aptly because uh, when i look into the records uh, which sky skill have achieved that in the fiscal year of 2023 and 24 we have successfully placed 1000 students and this was just the starting and recently we just collaborated with iit kanpur and guwahati so i want to just shed some light on that sir so how it came to action sir well uh, so the point of collaborating with any iits or nits even there are more iits nits to come in future the, you know companies i mean the iits nits are also showing showing interest to collaborate with the tech companies like us uh, the reason was uh, you know it was a uh, you know taboo to say okay if you are not an iit and you cannot do anything or maybe you won't get uh, you are not at part of iit so uh, thanks to government of india a ministry of um, information telecommunication they started this enict academy <clears throat> in 2016 okay so enict academy was formed in a in a in a purpose to empower or uh, to enable iits to conduct various training program through partners through capable relevant partners who can uh provide this training and iits cannot directly mobilize student of course this co- companies uh, can mobilize and uh, the training will be provided by company and the iits and finally the assessment will be done by iit and they will get a certificate from iit different iits and uh, after that a uh, co- few years uh, the things didn't really work out but after covid the things actually started picking up uh, now iits are in a always in a hunt of a capable good company record of placement a uh, good uh, you know a, a quality trainer training team uh, have good usps in the market then uh, they they started putting in i mean uh, they they started approaching these companies right uh, so sky skill actually was approached by one of the enict back in 2020 22 and since 2022 to 2024 it was a big it's a long journey there are a lot of set of assessment to be done they will check the uh, records they will check everything and finally you got collaborated with the two iits and there are more iits coming uh, i cannot reveal the names now but we are collaborating with more iits uh, is definitely so 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 that uh, the purpose the value the sky skill has adopted as, as the fundamental uh, ground of the you know helping student that is working out and that is matching with the uh, value and the you know values of iits or nits or any premium institute in india so they are quite happy i mean uh, you know let me also tell you that com- the iits uh, where we have collaborated they are quite happy with the track record uh, now also the students who are on boarding with us uh, iits that they, they, they are taking some classes they are doing regular assessment they are quite happy with the students now so i mean that's all uh, the, the fundamental is if you the quality if if a good quality if you are at par with the industries or the high level premium institutes like yeah. a plus category institute then of course you can always collaborate definitely sir so uh, recently all the students are wondering how 
uh, successfully we have been consecutively awarded as the best skill development platform consecutively for two years and what are the plans for this year if we are getting that or not uh well, so what are the yes. so as uh, uh, same thing tanmay the answer will be same if they if the fundamental is strong if the fundamental relies on a, a high quality of delivery high standard and if you are student focused then probably these are all uh, possible and uh, to all all our viewers or maybe to all our participant uh, you know one thing is very critic i mean very crucial very important for sky skill that is uh, outcome of a student you know uh, in our courses there are three outcomes you might have seen or maybe our counselor might be helping you to understand just to give a light on that we we focus on three outcomes one is placement second is startup third is high studies either a student will get placed through us or he should get a good admit a top admit in uh, in ms or maybe integrated programs or maybe phd's or maybe research scholarship and the third one is he should be able to start his own startup uh, by doing some you know if he is up upgrading his skills and he the synergy is there and he is willing to start something then he can he should uh, he, he he will do that so we guide a student to get any of this achievements we have people who have started their startup successful ventures we help them we connect we have connected them with the incubators they are currently running their own startup successful startups there are people who got admit in top 30 university in the world there are people who are getting placement uh, you know with good package very good package in the dream sectors so uh, if you know again coming to your question tanmay when the ground the fundamental is very strong uh, to help student then of course getting awards and all there are all small mi milestone i would say and uh, this year hopefully we'll also get uh, awarded for consecutive for third years uh, let's see that sir very very well said sir and i am hoping that we will also get this year so there is one question for a from a viewer uh, and it is harsil Hello, sir. Uh, what design skills can you provide for higher package up to 10 to 15 lakhs per annum? Which potential options are there for a design engineer with three years of experience? Okay. Uh, so, Harsil, uh, I have a little different point of view where uh, here uh, you are asking particularly which software you have to master. I have little different point of view, actually. So, I I will say if you if you have three plus years of experience and you are expecting ten to fifteen lakhs of package, there is no strict rule that okay you need to learn this software. You can start if you are good in CATIA or if you are good in ANSYS or if you are good in MATLAB, any software you pick, you should go to a level where companies will get benefit from you after paying you ten to fifteen lakhs of packages. So companies don't restrict themselves, uh, uh, saying you that okay uh, you know uh, you you have you have good amount of skill but our package is limited if you are really a good asset to a company they will they are able to pay you we have seen cases where people get job in just in katia learning katia they have cracked a job of 8 lakhs 9 lakhs of packages we have seen people who have two softwares solid work ansys and getting 7 8 lakhs of packages uh, freshers i'm talking about very fresh student uh, there are people uh, you know working experience work ex having you know work experience of 2 years 3 years getting packages of 12 lakhs 13 lakhs quite easily you don't really want to learn any particular software if you are good in something just do bit of hard uh, hard research on that and be flexible in that i don't want you to change your field or something so Arsil, i would love to know that which software you have learned and what is your knowledge can you just drop in the message yeah definitely i would also agree on that with sir because we have seen not one but two but we have seen many examples like that in the span of just only the last eight months so there has been number of applicants who have Correct. Uh, who have been our rewarded as the best skill development platform and they have been awarded into the companies so definitely definitely you should have to go to the extreme level of expertise in though in your software which you are already working on so harsil has written solidworks solidage creo and keysort so, so harsil i think if you are good in these four softwares uh, keep a good hand on this software definitely but at the same time if you want to uh, you know get into r and d of any company or something probably any software into you know uh, ce software try to master that if at all possible you know uh, that that helps a company to uh, uh, get maximum output from a candidate uh, companies look uh, you know, see in a way that if i'm hiring this guy or i'm paying this much then what what are the benefit i'm going to get it from this guy or maybe what is the uh, output i'm going to get is get this uh, from a guy so my point is it's not mandatory for you to learn uh, ca or uh, you know uh, what is that called maybe into a lot of many softwares but it's always good to have a uh, you know, variety of portfolio 
so that when you are going for a higher package then probably company can help you with that so sir the notable notable thing is that uh, we have started around 2018 and definitely in in the time of covid 19 there has been some hurdles so how come sky skill academy able to overcome those hurdles uh so i mean uh, in 2019 it was definitely a tough year for everyone but uh, uh, thanks to online uh, platforms uh, so uh, uh, the best part i will say tanmay that time that was the time where we get maximum number of student actually enrolled in our platforms and uh, uh, we started providing lot of courses free of cost uh, seeing the pandemic wow. situation and we got almost around 1 lakhs plus student every uh, every quarter we got an enrollment uh, you know numbers we have achieved to, during that period and it's just not in india even we used to get people from different countries so i would say covid uh, was a time where of course there were a lot of setbacks uh, for everyone but at the, the if i see the positive side then we uh, could cater to lot of students actually during covid through online platforms and uh, till now it's going i mean uh, the online things still we are continuing but with uh, the offline and hybrid mode also we have started but still uh, the covid was a time where it really helped us to understand how online can work very efficiently and probably the development that we have done in online uh, thanks to covid uh, we have i mean the covid duration that the research and everything we could do and transform our education system to completely online so uh, there was one question from my side actually it is uh, yeah. which i have been dying to ask so in the era of which i see in other institution or in other colleges also where they will be giving the recorded classes uh right. in the duration pre record self paced courses so why we why sky skill academy fixed to the only live classes okay so tanmay i'll come to your question uh, if you allow me to take a question that is in the chat box yes uh, koteshwar has asked may i know what you are going to provide sir uh, koteshwar i mean I, i'm sure you have checked our courses you have gone through our courses now uh, the point is our courses are with you know there are industry standard uh, programs where you see this course has been developed with the uh, association the industry uh, experts who are working in the industry has been certified by sector skill council which is uh, uh, you know uh, considered to be the highest certificate in any sector uh, when it's uh, let's say you are talking about electric vehicle automobile then sector skill council is asd so automotive sector skill council they are certified is this courses are certified by iit uh, different iits so of course uh, that says the value but the benefit for a student we are offering unlimited interviews till he gets a placement you know there are cases where people have taken 20 25 interviews to get a job that also we have provided them uh, it's just not training um, uh, of course the training is the first thing uh, upgrading of the skill that of course you have to do but at the same time you will be getting uh, pre placement support you will be getting placement support uh, unlimited okay. interviews till you get a job upgradation in your uh, you know uh, uh, jobs there are three years of a period where we help our alumni to get a better job in case we are getting any better opportunity for anyone having let's say you got placement through us after two years of time we got an good opportunity saying that they are paying more packages we'll reach out to you we have a team uh, who connect to the alumni we'll we'll reach out to you and ask you whether you want to change your job then if you are interested the package fits you then you can change the job there are 40% student who are changing their second job through us Uh, after doing uh, after getting the first job so that benefit we can uh, provide you koteshwar uh, and uh, probably uh, and, and coming to the next question and also the answer to the koteshwar uh, our platform Someone is live uh, sorry yes sorry. yeah yeah tanmay are you asking something uh, no no someone was asking so uh, you can just uh, uh, raise your hand i will mute everyone unmute everyone and you can just ask your questions okay uh, so let me answer to uh, you know uh, tanmay's question we are a comp- i mean we are a platform we of- who offer 100% live classes we don't we really don't believe on uh, pre recorded contents however after every live classes we send the recording of the same class to our learners uh, why actually we follow that you know uh, that is the question tanmay i believe you are asking yes now there was a very famous study by harvard business review uh magazine harvard business magazine in 2021 after the covid uh, situation it was 21 or 22 i don't exactly remember it says 80% people who take the pre recorded contents 80% people they seem to drop out you know 
because in today's world in the busy world in the world of distraction what exactly happens when a student is he's willing to learn but when he sits his attention span span has decreased like uh, you know it has decreased really uh, you know in over the decade of time now students are not able to complete the course 80% of them let's say there is a content of you know the course is of one year by one year 80% will drop and 20% will just graduate that is the scenario with all other platforms currently if they are at all showing they have a 100% record or something it's from the people who are graduating let's say there are 100 people joined the platform 80 dropped out 20 people graduated among these 20 they are getting they are showing the placement record right we don't believe on this system if a student is paying us he should he should complete the course and that is only possible when the courses are live live driven every day there is there should be a live classes and uh, trainers are there if it is if, if a student is not joining continuously for two to three days classes there are coordinators who will be calling and asking uh, boss why you are not attending the class you have to attend the classes you have to finish your in case you are not attending the classes you have to finish your recorded contents or maybe the class recordings on the same day next day you will be uh, you know the coordinator will be asking you have you com completed the course have you have you completed the recording class before you get into the live class that has given us the i'll tell you the results uh, tanmay that that i think will help people to understand the graduating rate from our platform is 92% is still dead if 100 student enrolls there are 92 student who graduate from our courses a student of course they drop i mean because of their personal reasons they drop in between i cannot say that 100% is practically not possible no one has achieved 100% till date but it's it's way better than people 80% dropping out so that's why live classes is uh, i think the heart the core of a online class should be live classes it shouldn't be recorded one i truly don't believe on the recorded thing and that in just not uh, you know inflict students money but also the confidence that they can also take in course and complete it and yeah, uh, the astonishing fact is that uh, our offline classes course fee is equivalent to online course some of the platforms online course fee so how you able to tackle the most affordable course fee platform? Uh, so I don't know how to tackle that. Uh, but yes, we are the most affordable platform. If we compare with the top five players uh, in this sector, top five, uh, five players as in, uh, in the number of enrollments. Uh, so our offline courses are, uh, you know, even lesser than the online course fee of many platforms, actually. If you are enrolling in our offline platforms, fully offline, uh, so 10 months of offline courses, it is even lesser than the online, uh, the recorded course fee of many platforms, the leading platforms, you know, uh, you know, older platforms, I, I would say older pl platforms than Skyskill. Uh, I'll say Skyskill is uh, younger to them. Uh, but the concept was very clear when we started. Uh, if a uh, mediocre level of student or a candidate if can afford a course at Skyscale, then the purpose is fulfilled. What is the use when we overcharge them and, uh, you know, extract money from them? So every single rupee is to be right. uh, paid uh, to them, right? So uh, our concept is very clear. A mediocre level of student should be able to afford our courses and that is the fundamental and that is helping many students who are not able to take highly uh, too costly courses. They are enrolling with us and they are getting jobs from us and that is helping that i think a part of us uh, is uh, you know uh, everyone's responsibility to do some social work and uh, probably by keeping the prices in a very medium range very uh, nominal very moderate range that is helping people in uh, somewhere other yes also i will agree to that because recently the hdc chairman himself has released a video regarding the upliftment in the sky skill academy and he has definitely cherished the way of training and the way of modules which have been designed. And that is right. what a very good note on that. Of course, yeah. Uh, so I think you, you know, people might have seen the video, but if not, then probably you can play it after the session, uh, Tanmay. But yeah, he really loves uh, Skyskill. In 12th of July, very recent news, 12th of July, they've invited us uh, for an conclave at Delhi. Uh, so as one of the speakers or one of the participants in the event, uh, there are very few partners who are attending them and we are one of them. So because of the good work that all of us are doing. Definitely. So for everyone, just a information that uh, Sarah has also given a TED, TED event uh, speaking at the Galgotias University uh, just recent year, last year. 
and there is one question sir uh, which is on the basis of the today's session that online education is booming how do you see its role evolving in the professional development of cad cam and ca correct uh yeah uh, i think i was waiting for this question tanmay because uh, the session should be more of uh, cad cam and ca students are mm -hmm. waiting they told us to join cad cam ca but they are yeah. talking about the company but uh, I'll tell you as I, I, I my first answer when you asked me the first question does it is linked to the same thing uh, so provide with a follow up answer to that uh, unless we upskill ourselves into you know you know our, our friend also asked about you know how he can get a good job a good package upgrade his uh, jobs only key is upgrading yourself with the skills let's say you have skill set suppose an example you have two three um, softwares you know already on CAD and CAE or something. Now, let's say you are getting a package of five, 5 lakhs rupees or 6 lakhs rupees. Now, tell me what is the best way to, uh, you know, jump maybe 30%, 40%, 50%, 100%. -100%. Only answer is upgrading yourself with latest knowledge, latest skill, and probably with the new softwares, which is trending in the market, right? So, that's why the up upgrading is highest needed for everyone today. Again, I'll, I'll come to, again, the, there is a statistic, very recent statistic uh, by... Uh, uh, I don't, I'm just forgetting the um, article name. They've recently shown uh, India, there are 80% 80, 80 people who are changing their jobs are upgraded with their skills. 80% people who are getting better packages, better jobs, have already done some uh, courses. And this trend has been seen after uh, pandemic. I mean, I mean to say people, uh, there are, let's say 100 people are changing their job. There are 80, they're likely to Likely that they've already done some courses and they've upgraded their skill. And there are multiple courses mentioned in their resume. This is the statistic, Tanmay. So if people are not upgrading themselves, it is very difficult to change the job. And probably they can go in a you know increment rate of 10%, 8%, 12% uh, at max. But if at all someone wants to upgrade in 50%, 60%, probably upskilling is the only way. And uh, if you talk about the freshers, there is no other way. You cannot go and put your resume all across uh you, you know there are there are a lot of people who go pune they go to uh pinia industries they just go to companies and companies put their resume thinking that okay we'll get a call or we'll get a job from them but practically that doesn't work out nowadays definitely i will add on to this because uh, why the freshers in the engineering school they are uh, engineering college they are not getting because nowadays if you will see the books which you are reading they are just reprinted edition of older versions so the company is it is now right now the industry is in 2024 and we are we are just reading the books of 1992 reprinted editions so how you will cope up with because in the refrigeration and air conditioning you have learned about the statistics or theoretical asthmatics of the 1998 modules but right now in the industry it is going about the thermoacoustic refrigeration there will be cooling with the help of the sound so that's the industrial difference which we are talking about. Correct. Just not about the theoretical aspect, even the practical aspect. You know, a lot of colleges don't have the facilities, don't have the proper yeah. trainers or the faculties who've been trained. So, yeah. uh, you know, at a platform like Skyscale, you always get people who are already working in the industries, have the highest level of expertise in the particular software. You know, the trainers, let's say example, if you are learning from someone who is into solid work, uh, you understand he might have worked for 10 years or 12 years into solid work and hardcore uh, you know person who is really the best in solid work so that is a benefit and that is probably helping uh, people to get jobs definitely so uh, the next question which i will ask sir uh, the practical are conducted so is it like uh, the student want to know is it like the school type like uh, there will be some groups or they want to explore, let the student explore every aspect of a practical dimensions. So, uh, Tanmay, we have, uh, you know, two category courses where uh, the practicals are involved into software. Second is the practicals involved into uh, hardware. Example, someone is joining into automotive courses or electric vehicle courses. Uh, they, they have, uh, you know, separate set of uh, labs we have developed, uh, industry standard labs, uh, you know, into different in Hyderabad, Bhubaneswar, and new centers are also coming up. So, so their student uh, in are invited in cohorts. Actually, the core size is at max twenty people in a in a batch. We don't take more than twenty people in every cohort. 
Now, what happens when they learn in a cohort? First thing, the learning ability becomes more and they learn first. Cohort is must. You cannot individually go and learn something. If you, you have a cohort, then probably you will you will learn at least 30-40% faster than you would have learned alone. Uh, so that is mandatory. Uh, cohort is, uh, you know, there is a cohort learning and uh, that is there. That knowingly we have kept it. But let's say a student after 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock, if he wants to stay back and learn from the trainers or maybe he wants to practice, our labs are open till 8, 9 o'clock in the night all the time. They can sit and they can do the practical. So uh, I would say there are two things. In the in the daytime, they learn in a cohort. Their group of four or five people will do practicals or if I'm talking about the hard, hardware part of it, they'll do the practicals and uh, do the tinkering around. After the session is over, they can stay back and they can learn from the trainers or maybe if they want to stay in the lab and spend more time in the lab, that also they can do. So it's all about, it depends on the number of, the quality of the interest level of student. Now, come talking about the of the software part of it. Now, software, of course, uh, they have dedicated systems to practice, and uh, we encourage them to have uh, their laptop, and we help them to install the software in the laptop so that they can practice in the uh, in the evening when they go back to uh, the classes. Now, the best part here is we have trainers who provide one to one support to the student when they do the practicals, the projects, because we cannot do that in cohort. Uh, when we train them the softwares now let's say someone is working on a car module now he has he is stuck in something now trainers will you know there there will be one to one interaction where the trainer will clear the doubts and help them to complete the projects so there are both cat both category of support that we provide uh, tanmay so uh, sir this is one of the personal questions uh, which is slightly different from the session so recently i think uh, all of you have seen kota factory so, hmm. sir, how is Jetu Bhaiya different from Himansu Sekhar Panda? So, Himansu Sekhar Panda is not a uh, trainer. I would, I, I would love to train student. You know, if I get chance, I, I love to interact with the student. But uh, uh, because of less time, I take uh, you know monthly once, twice sessions for student. Okay. For maybe uh, I'm more of I'm uh, you know uh, how to get jobs and how they okay. can build their beautiful profile or higher studies. That part I take session, but Jitu Bhaiya is a hardcore trainer and probably uh, Dipesh sir, uh, Somyo, Somyo sir, uh, yes. Jyoti sir should be compared with the Jitu Bhaiya actually. <laughs> exactly, exactly. The RHODs. So, yeah. So definitely, uh, we we glad to have your time, sir. And the students are very enlightened. And thank you for giving your time in such a short notice. So this was totally unplanned because sir have uh, less timing to diverge into the and i am very grateful for your timings so so student if you want to ask any questions to sir so he will be giving you an industrial point of view because he has been in the industry for more than 12 years so he will he can also guide you from the prospect how you should develop your skill set sir may so, i would uh, love to add one very uh, recent uh, you know instant that has happened one of the leading uh, skill development platform has appro approached us to utilize our labs. Uh, they wanted to use our different labs for the upgradation of the knowledge. Uh, I would say one of our competitor uh, per se, but uh, not a, um, uh, so they, they have approached. So my point is, I, I don't want to, you know, so that we are at a, you know, yeah. good position or they are in a bad thing, but my point is the lab, the addition of the labs has really helped us uh, to, uh, you know, what is that called? To provide a beautiful platform to our student, actually. So uh, even the other companies who are into this space, they are also wanting to use our labs for the training purpose. That level of uh, uh, support, actually, students are getting. Uh, our straightforward answer was no. We cannot uh, lease our labs for anyone else other than our yeah. student because... Uh, the labs should be only available for our student and because every 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 two months there are a cohort of students who are joining. Yes. It, it is only for our student that shouldn't be leased for money or something. They wanted to pay us per hour, but we didn't. So the labs are a great addition, guys. If you are happen to be nearer to the places, please visit and see our labs and you'll understand uh, how this is going to help you. And when the learning is experiential learning along with uh, the hands on support with the trainers, then of course the learning can be faster and better. That's what that's what I think Sky Skills purpose and we are doing it. So there is one question, sir, from it's Mohan. Which software is suitable to start 3D model, advanced assembly, and part analysis? 
okay man have you done any 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 cat software yet or you are you haven't done anything till now can you just type that so are you are you a fresher or working professional or what is your status about cat mon you can uh, drop your answer uh, so once based on that i'll be able to help you out so uh, are you have you learned anything any software yet or you are fresh or you are a fresher you are looking for some courses uh, to explore and probably learn 3d modeling okay uh, you are okay. interior designer but you want to get into the 3d modeling uh into the core sector see mohan there are multiple cash softwares i would uh, i would i would recommend you can take any course you know is is uh, we cannot say solid work catia uh, nx cad uh, creo anything is fine you can start with anything okay there are softwares who have this 3d um, modeling i cannot say which is good or which is bad because i truly believe all softwares have equal uh, weightages and all have equal opportunities in the industry so whichever is fine whichever you can learn that you can start it and probably if you are joining our platform then you will be learning um, you know if you are joining our courses the pg courses in product designing and analysis okay. or maybe you are joining hev hybrid electric vehicle or maybe automotive designing and manufacturing there are multiple courses that you are going to learn uh, starting from autocad catia solid organsis uh, nx cad nx cam multiple uh, softwares you are going to learn from us directly so it's all depend on you which software you are comfortable and which is available to you you can start anything okay so which is best or bad i'm i'm not the right person to actually judge on that definitely i hope mohan uh, that was a your answer your question was answered so so we will wait for more time sir uh, if some students are still asking yeah so in the meantime please, you guys please go on and ask your drop your questions or if you want to unmute and ask that's fine but it's it's good that if you can drop your question in the chat box i'll i'll love to take your question so harshil has asked sir which industry domain in mechanical engineering is booming right now uh, harshil uh, my answer is uh, you know um, the sectors where designing r and d are associated are of bit of what is that called of high quality jobs and uh, packages are bit higher uh, but again this answer is very subjective uh, there are domains example electric vehicle uh, test engineers Uh, there are a lot of uh, you know people who i mean they are linked with uh, the cae but not actually the software side they are also getting good paid but if we see the statistic the numbers of the packages or the numbers of job mostly the packages side i would say uh, mostly r and d and design uh, are are of at a, a positive side uh, but again if you are suppose someone wants to get uh, make their career into electric vehicle manufacturing there are a lot of scopes available but however having a knowledge of designing and manufacturing so always will add value to your portfolio it's mohan is asking that what is the level is going for gdnt in industry uh so uh, i i don't understand i mean level is going in gdnt gdnt the basics of everything all designing software yes. mohan uh, i don't understand the level that you are uh, actually asking can you just make the question little clearer it will help me yes, to understand mohan. Mohan, GDNT without, yeah. Yes. So GDNT is something. Uh, you must know. have the basic of uh, ba basic knowledge before you start anything. Uh, you know, uh, into that. So if you see our courses, also you will see there are a month of program into basic engineering, drawing, and GDNT only. Uh, yes. We we understand unless you have a strong knowledge on the surfacing, don't have the knowledge of uh, different Nothing limit fit tolerances. It will it will be really tough to build a portfolio over the CAD softwares. So. yeah it's it's need it's it's the basic and fundamental i would say okay agreed on that mohan and so one of the last questions sir i want to keep it if some of the questions are over by student so what are the exciting initiative or project as sky skill academy that we should looking for in the next few years because this is already the half uh, of the year so uh, tanmay i would say uh, more excitement actually that excites me uh, when we see the results from the student you know uh, the biggest excitement i would say i say uh, when when uh, top companies come and hire a student uh, you know introducing new programs you know changing because 
uh, you many of our viewers they must be knowing that our courses keep on changing every six months seven months based on the industry need that always keeps on going but the more excitement part comes when we see companies are hiring our student with a good package every day there are new stories coming in new news coming from placement department and i think that is the more excitement there are more big companies coming in the pipeline this year we can expect good brands uh, hiring our student very uh, soon so i think that is uh, the best the most exciting part uh, for all of us actually tanmay i think you are also excited after hearing it you are giving a beautiful smile yes sir <laughs> so yeah. sir actually i can agree on that because uh, that is actually fuel for our uh, working what which we are toiling because in that uh, many of the students uh, they are giving their all the time because they are working very hard so if they Correct. are re- getting a rewarding uh, job aspects prospect so that is what motivate us correct that is the only thing that really motivates uh, motivate us to push yeah. further and you know expand our limits to help so, our student. Yaksha's one question. I am in two years of bachelor's. How to get CAD internship? Tried a lot, but didn't get any till now. Second year of bachelor's. He is doing B.Tech second year. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, so, have you done any course yet, Yaks? What is your knowledge level? What is your skill set? So, my straightforward answer. If you are good in something, then probably apply for internship. If you don't have anything, then you should be applying for a course. You should be taking up a course, actually. You know, companies don't hire any intern or maybe they don't pay uh, an intern without just to train them okay there are a lot of students who are looking for jobs without skills they think okay i'll i'll get an internship and probably i'll learn from there see yaks of course in an internship you learn but at least you should have the basic fundamental of the software if you are good in something then probably you apply and you learn how the companies work what is the industry level what was your knowledge and what 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 is the level they are working that knowledge you can get it from internship but if you want to learn it from scratch then you should be joining a course you are too young to i mean you are really in second year and and you should be looking for any internship a lot of internship offered by sky skill with iit kanpur uh, that also you can look into or if you can uh, if you are okay to spend time then you should be joining a long term program where you'll be learning lot of softwares by a year of time or by 10 months of time when you'll be in the third year you will you'll be in the top of the skills and you can look into top quality internship probably in the final years and Uh, by by finally you will be able to get a good job from our platform itself so over, over to you over, it's, it's up to you yux what what is the way you want to choose the best uh, way, way for you i can agree on that because when i was in my college uh, many of the students they were going for the skill training for here i at that time i was just procrastinating that yeah at the end of the year we will see that and uh, at the end of the year they got actually two to three placements but uh, uh, it was very hardly to get any and i really uh, so wish the that best... yes yeah yeah sorry uh, so the best example uh, we had a beautiful student his name was uh, tony varghese uh, yes. so uh, the guy got placed into uh, uh, this bharat bench you know uh, Bhar- uh, he got into bharat bench one of the highest packages that we offered uh, so i still remember he was in uh, i think it was just in third year or Uh, this time when he was transiting from second year to third year he joined our program and did the course for a year of time after that he was working with us as an intern for another uh, some 7 to 8 months and after that he got directly job into bharat bench so there are lot of stories because i remember this guy because uh, i i interacted with him uh, quite a lot so i remember there are many examples we have who are taking our long term the long term courses for 10 months from their second year third year by the time when they graduate they have skills and they are able to get placement directly they don't really need to wait for any com- colleges to help them for the placement so there are many stories uh, so but yeah not only the graduates or working professionals but also if you have a substantial gap also you can yes. upskill and get into the industry it's not that the industry has been closed if you have 2 mm. 3 years of gap we have already placed a student with 10 years of gap also in right. the automotive right. industry and that's something uh, you should all take a appreciation or you can say you can look up to it yes, yes. no if you, if you have gap then uh, there are two ways you uh, either you keep on trying and uh, the time will pass second option is go for a upgradation of the skill the time that you would have you know waste, wasted in searching jobs utilize this time doing a course uh, 
you know, example at SkySkill, we provided 10 months of intensive letter. When you join our course of 10 months, we provide you 10 months of intensive letter, which is equivalent to a 10 months of experience letter. Uh, now, when you have this, you can probably take this and, um, you know, sit in any interview in, in a placement drive and probably can crack a job. But let's say you don't have any experience, keep on looking for a job. You have three, four years, five years gap. It's really, really tough nowadays to get a job. You should join uh, the platforms where that can help you to minimize the gap and to help you the skills. And if you have, if you have strong skills, if you have good portfolio projects in your hand, getting jobs is will become quite easier for you when you have uh, you know a year of gap, at least three to five years, ten years of gap. There are examples we have who have uh, you know by practice, by a lot of dedication, they've cracked good jobs after a year of uh, you know multiple years years of gap. So, uh, Yaksha has a question, sir. Uh, sir, I have completed SolidWorks at AutoCAD. Which software should I next focus on in the in, to enter into the industry? Uh, I uh, sorry, sorry, I missed this question. What is that? Uh, I have AutoCAD SolidWorks now in the software. Should I target to enter in the industry? Means what is the most demanding now? Uh, again, Yaks, my answer is very clear all the time. I I say that there is uh, no. I cannot say which software is good, which software is bad. All software has their own charm. Uh, if you have AutoCAD and SolidWorks, both are quite of a good software. You can uh, keep doing some projects. You can keep doing work on that. Both of them are equal priority because anyways, AutoCAD is the basics one, right? Now, um, you, you should have these two softwares in your hand and uh, start working on it. Do a lot of projects. Uh, take uh, multiple soft, you know, uh, online. There are a lot of soft uh, projects available online. You can take that. Uh, then you can work on it. So it will help you to get into that. Now, Suman saying, I'm a working professional designing software, knowledge, uh, no designing software, knowledge except AutoCAD. I, but I have some doubt on joining the course as I am detached from studies currently. Online program is equivalent to offline. Uh, Suman, is not your question only. There are, I think, 95% people who are working professional and don't have any knowledge into designing. They keep asking the same question and our answer is very clear because these classes are life driven and you, you have the fundamental knowledge already. Uh, you, are, you are working professional, you know, uh, all you to, you have to give is at least one hour, two hour every day for the practice. And the classes will be, you know, taught from very basics because there are, uh, there are student, I mean, like there, there will be student like Sumant, there will be student uh, like Yaks, there will be student like, you know, some, uh, you know, uh, Herschel who have three years of uh, knowledge. Now we cannot um, discriminate saying that, okay, he has good knowledge. We'll start it from, uh, you know, the advanced one, or you cannot say he don't have any knowledge. So our classes starts from very basics. Let's say Herschel says, uh, sir, uh, Herschel won't be very serious in the first 15 days or something because he has the basic knowledge. But end of the day, when after 15 days, 20 days, of course, all will be completed same, same level where the advanced or the projects will start. So Sumant, our classes starts from very, very, very basic level. Because everyone don't have the knowledge of everything, right? Example, Herschel says, I, am, I have good knowledge on SolidWorks, but he might not be knowing so, or Katia, right? So the base level is we started from very basics and we conduct multiple doubt clearing classes uh, in parallel. Let's say the class timing uh, the class timing is at 7 o'clock. Uh, we we uh, took the classes at 7 o'clock, but we uh, even conduct the doubt clearing classes 6 o'clock or maybe 9 o'clock after the classes. So if you have any doubt, you can join that classes and cl clarify it. Also, if the classes are live, you can always go on and ask questions to the trainers then and there. After the class, you can ask it. Uh, we have Calendly. You know the software Calendly. Uh, we have the, uh, the subscription of that. You can book a trainer. You can... Uh, book a doubt clearing session one to one and you can ask questions there so suman i would say you don't have to worry about i have let my studies for so many years how can i learn then suman my answer my question is how people uh, after 10 years 15 years how they are upgrading getting better jobs so don't underestimate saying that okay i have let my studies the interest is important i if you have interest then you can do anything uh, suman so definitely that is going to help you and i'm sure you will get uh, you know, at least uh, the knowledge and probably the dream of upgrading your job into designing, you can definitely do it. Okay, your uh, another question was whether should I go for offline? Sumant, you really don't need to come offline uh, because online, as, as I said, this is purely uh, live classes. So you don't have to leave your job and come for offline. If at all you want a offline touch, then you can take our hybrid mode of studies where you complete seven, eight months online and there are four months of time, but you can choose to come for a month or maybe two months to our offline centers for a practical 
you know hand or maybe for a doubt clearing sessions that also can be possible even suman there are people who take hybrid mode continuously for two months they don't come they take seven days 10 days they come to our center doubt clear the doubt and go back and after two three months again they come back and clear the doubt and go, go back that also you can take up so okay. i hope i answered to your query suman Okay, so Harshil has one question that at Katia integrated certification course with IIT Kanpur, does lectures have some specific timeline? Uh, sorry, a uh, specific timeline as in Harshil, I, I didn't uh, get that. What is that you want uh, to ask? Actually, he was asking about time timing of the classes. So Harshil, uh, let me answer about it. So the Katia integrated class, the lectures or you can say the industrial expert. So uh, the specific timeline of uh, 9 p.m. So at 9.30 p.m. their classes are being conducted and the doubt clearing sessions are being conducted on the Calendly app. So the timings for that batch is 9.30 p.m. every day, Monday to Friday. Okay. Mostly the classes happens in the evening time, guys, because if you are a student or maybe if you are a working professional, it is not practically possible to attend the class in the daytime, right? So mostly okay. the nighttime in the doubt clearing sessions we conduct at the weekends. There are Saturdays, Sundays, you don't conduct any regular classes. There are only doubt clearing classes. And if you, if the whole batch wants to conduct, example, you finish ANSYS and you have still doubt and there are five, six people, they say, okay, we want to ha have a uh, additional session on ANSYS from beginning. Then probably we conduct the class in the six o'clock or maybe after nine o'clock after the classes. So it's all about in the evening sessions, all classes, job reading or IIT, anything that all are evening. Definitely. So uh, recently, I also want to tell you all of that. Uh, we have started our courses, or you can say the professional courses in, in the collaboration with EICT, IIT, Kanpur, in the field of embedded systems, Internet of Things, machine learning, artificial intelligence, with vehicle design and analysis. So these are the skill set which will empower you or which will give you a strong hold in the field of domain of automobile, embedded systems, IoT, ML, and AI. So this is something which we, which SkySkill has recently developed. So, so how could you uh, deviate it from the mainstream program to this, to this domain? So you are asking me, Tanmay? Yes, sir. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, okay. Uh, with IIT Kanpur, uh, the professional courses, the uh, there are three category programs we are offering under IIT Kanpur. Uh, so uh, under IIT Kanpur, there are certification courses uh, just for one month to two months. There are three months courses. There are seven month, six month, seven month courses. Uh, there are all they're all by certified by IIT Kanpur and completely governed by IIT Kanpur. Even the payment and everything you'll do in IIT Kanpur website, we uh, you don't have to even pay to us. You'll directly pay at IIT Kanpur. These courses are uh, developed in a purpose. People who are who are working in the industries and up, want to upgrade their knowledge and they have very short time. Uh, they they can spend three months hardly. Then for them, they can go for these courses. They are all advanced certification and certification category courses that falls into even professional courses. Uh, but let's say you want to upgrade your knowledge and want to get a job or maybe change your job. So we have separate category of course that is job reading courses that comes under IIT Guwahati brand. Again, uh, you can mix both of them. You can take up a course onto IIT Guwahati and you can take some other certification courses into IIT Kanpur on a discounted price. Let's say student wants to uh, opt for IIT Guwahati program and he wants a good amount of discount. And we actually give up to 30% discount to the course in IIT Kanpur so that he don't, don't have to worry about the financial burden. He can take the course. So there are a lot of people who take these two courses avail this benefit of IIT Kanpur in a lesser price. Uh, so that benefit also we offer, Tanmay. I hope yes. I answered to the query that was. Definitely. Very well answered, sir. Someone has asked, sir, uh, uh, Rohan, he has asked, sir, how can he meet you? Can he meet me? Let him yes. join join the uh, company. Uh, I mean, join uh, our course yes. and probably he can come uh, to meet me at Hyderabad or Bhubanes, wherever I'll be. Uh, so that's... Definitely, quite possible. Quite possible. So yeah. that being said, sir, it was such an enlightening session with you. And I hope uh, sir could able to answer all of your queries. And there has been so many uh, ups and downs with SkySkill has seen. Uh, definitely, Suman, definitely.
uh, afford online class uh, can, can i afford online class because of the job definitely uh, is uh, suman there are uh, hund hundreds of student every every month who are uh, working professional and enrolling in a different courses you can very easily afford it uh, it's all about uh, the uh, you know your passion i see a great interest from you uh, so you can very easily very comfortably can do this course and definitely uh, sumat i will say that uh, all the year we have placed around 1000 students and yes. all of them could able to afford our classes just because we have more than 15 emi partners okay one more thing i i would love to appreciate this you know our beautiful participant guys there are two stages of joining any course or upgrading yourself with the knowledge it's not about this it's about your life you know whole life uh, when you want to upgrade in anything like exa example uh, a working home, uh, a housewife uh, in a age of 40, 35 or 40 she wants to upgrade and start writing a book i'm giving just an example to you now writing a book is not easy right she can cannot start it on the same day that she decided she needs to upgrade something she needs to upgrade her knowledge she needs to you know spend some time she needs to refer to many uh, books the the process of you know the the first day she will start writing uh, but the journey will start before maybe two years before right uh, you know upgrading the knowledge staying updated what are the publications how to reach out to them the journey will start before two years before she could write the first uh, page of the uh, book so my point is that there are two levels one is you have to set your mind you have to uh, motivate yourself okay fine this is my lifestyle i have to uh, break my lifestyle and at least accommodate two hours three hours four hours for this purpose second level is doing that so now if all of you have already cracked the first level, you have already motivated yourself, pushed yourself to uh, get into something, something, whatever your dream is, you know, uh, the level two is probably pursuing the your dream. So I congratulate every one of you, at least having showing this interest. That is Correct. highly appreciable, guys. So uh, with that note, with that motivation, sir, I think uh, they have quite energized with your energy. And... You will all feel the energy when you will join Skyscale Academy and in the orientation day. So it was such an enlightening session. I hope all the students have benefited. They have leveled up a day today, what they have uh, one hour back. And now there must have been a difference. So thank you all for joining and motivating or uh, giving us your time. And also, sir, thank you for giving us your time. So, but yeah, I think I think the stars are the participant who stayed uh, so long in the in the late in the evening. So I I am grateful to all of you. Thank you for joining and trusting Skyscale Academy for your energy. Actually, we are getting energized and you know pushing ourselves to yeah. go beyond our beyond boundaries and keep doing the good work that we are doing. Probably we are upgrading ourselves every day basis. I welcome all of your feedbacks in case you have any feedback for our platforms anything. Whether you are a student, if you are not a student, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, if you have you think uh, something can be done better always we love that and we conduct regular feedback session from our student to understand the quality of courses how it is going there are internal auditing team who will call you to understand the quality of courses how the support being provided really keeps on motivating and pushing ourselves to do better jobs thank you everyone uh, have a great evening and all of you mm -hmm.